We're here at SEC Media Days as talking season officially kicks off for the Gamecocks. Rick Henry along with Julie Westerman. Now, South Carolina was one of four teams to appear on opening day. Carolina is coming off a 5-7 and seven season, the first losing campaign for head coach Shane Beamer, who's preparing for his fourth season as the leader of the program. He'll be starting a redshirt freshman at quarterback, Lenore Sellers. He's talented but short on SEC experience. I asked Beamer, what's the theme of this season as they look to get the Shane train back on track? Going all the way back to January would just be the hunger you know that this team has I mean it's uh, we've got three fantastic leaders here today that have played a lot of football for us here at South Carolina uh, along with a lot of other leaders I mean you think about it two of the guys that we brought the media days last year are still on our team in uh, Tonka and Kai as well so we're, we're a older team it's very very hungry you know they've shown that since um, since August and the theme for us Rick has just continued to um, you know build on that and embrace that Got a lot of new faces, obviously, in, on all three phases, coaches and players, and continue to you know get acclimated and, and just get better. But really like this group, like the way they've worked since January. They've had a fantastic summer and, and uh, eager to get going. You mentioned these three young men being exceptional. Julia, while well, Beamer's working with an inexperienced quarterback, that's certainly not the case for his defense. You know, it's year four under the Beamer era, and it's also year four under defensive coordinator Clayton White. The defense is the oldest it's ever been, returning a heavy load of veterans. Two of South Carolina's representatives in Dallas, Boogie Huntley and Debo Williams, are perfect examples. Redshirt seniors in the defensive line and linebacker core, they've stuck with the program. Both say Columbia and the university mean a lot to them, and in the era of the transfer portal, feel compelled to finish what they started. I feel like I could lead a, a, a scout or a, a whole practice for defensively by myself just because how much I know, signaling all the plays, coverages, stunts, formations, whatever it is. And so having that like second nature with not just me, but almost half the defense it feels like, we're all on that same page, so it helps a lot. It's, it's a family aspect. Like I've been knowing these guys for three or four years now, man. Um, and I know it's just going to make us play that much better together because it's so much family oriented. So. Um, I know guys, you know, if they're having a bad day, I can push them. Um, if something going in the game, and I know what ticks them, make them work, uh, and we can play better that way. So I think it's going to be great. Having an experienced defense, certainly a benefit as the offense navigates a redshirt freshman quarterback. You're right. The defense may have to shoulder a good bit of the load while the freshman redshirt QB gets his footing in the SEC. <laughs> That's going to wrap it up from here in Dallas. Rick Henry along with Julie Westerman on the road with the Gamecocks at SEC Media Days.